when you get done with speaking a message on the great white throne judgment, you always have all these different things that, uh, that, that come back to mind. Like, oh, I wish I had said that. Oh, I could have gone this direction. I should have gone that. I should have said this. I should have said that. And yeah. in, my, in my conversations with other people, it was, there was some of that that was going on with me yesterday and nobody was pressing me on it. It was just that I, I think that there's a lot to be said about this. And I think one of the things that I want to say this morning is that you have, uh, th this this idea that most people think in, in their minds when you talk about works and things like that is that there's sort of a scale and that God is having a scale and if if you have more good works and you have bad ones then God will let you in you have more bad ones and good ones you're 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 in trouble yeah. and that's just not the way that the New Testament actually treats it basically the 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 New Testament treats it in a way that none of us actually have uh, have a, on the scale none of us have works that actually are commensurate with uh, an admission into into eternity with God and into the bliss that comes with that none of us you know you've heard it said uh, that our righteousness is like filthy rags that we we're just bringing nothing to the table and that God has done all the work in Christ that the lamb the reason why the lamb image is so powerful and so important in the book of Revelation is that the lamb represents a price that was paid uh, a laying down of a life that was paid for someone else to get someone else in and so it is in our trusting him that we uh, that we gain admission into eternity but our works have something to do with our reward that the works that you do the way that you live your life the way that you conduct your life the way that you serve people the way that you love all contributes to your reward at the end of your life and uh, when, when you give your report and that in eternity there will be uh, a reward and that will be commensurate with what you and you and I have done this is something that it again is something that the New Testament talks frequently about and we have to come to grips with that that that, that the Lord does reward uh, a life well lived, that the Lord does reward loving well, the Lord does reward those things. And so we have to keep those things in mind as we're looking at this, that we're not, as believers, we're not talking about whether we're admitted into eternity or not. We're talking about what, our, what and how much and what kind of reward that we're going to get on the other side of our last breath. Think about that today.